first of all, how psyched are you for tonight? I'm really excited. Um, it's fun just because this is where I started. Mm -hmm. I auditioned in San Diego. So, some nice memories here. Yeah. And, yeah, and it happened this month, so, like, it's been a year since I've been here again. Wow. And, um, now it's, you know, auditioned here, and this is where it all started, and now it's just a full circle back here. Like, auditioned in an arena, and now I'm performing in an arena for the same thing I was hoping to do. Amazing. What a cool. dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the fan response like last night? It was it was really amazing. I mean, I was like talking, like I had I kind of figured what I was gonna say, mm -hmm. but the audience just screaming and it's like oh my gosh, it's yeah. so it's so pumped and excited. <laughs> what's, what's in the pipeline with your music coming up? With my music coming up, I I'm coming with with the album I'm working on. I just want some good pop stuff, some soulful, mm -hmm. like soulful pop, or like a nice mix. Like how Jordan Sparks had a uh -huh. great mm -hmm. mix of music. Yeah. And just really short her voice. She was able to do some good radio songs mm -hmm. and also some songs that were really meaningful yeah. and really expressive and emotional, had depth to it. And I really would love to have that same combination. Who's someone you'd love to collaborate with? I'd love to collaborate with... Uh, there are a lot of a few people I like. Yeah, Carly one first of all. I got a great day. <laughs> but um, like Cerberus is someone I really like. I think that'd be the coolest thing. Cerberus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then John Mayer. I love the song. I he's someone I. John Mayer. <laughs> and then I think it'd be another fun person is Natasha Bedingfield because she's one of my favorite singers too. Yeah. And she's she's actually the one who inspired me to songwrite. Uh, so that's really cool. And wonderful. then it just and then well, Jason Mraz would be really cool. He's my favorite singer after all you people. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, Jason Mraz is so I love that music where it's just so real. I know. And it's like so I'd love to do that mm -hmm. but I don't think my image quite fits that yet, so I'd love to just, you know, start with the pop stuff. How Jason Mraz's first album was more radio friendly, yeah. and then it got real, yeah. just really laid back. Have and you really listened expressive. to a lot of his live stuff? Because that stuff is inspirational. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like um, a lot of his um, acoustic albums, Live at Java Joe's, and also um, a bunch of, I'm a big fan, anyway. <laughs> I am too. Yeah, what's, oh. what's something about you that your fans would not expect? Like, um, they wouldn't know, or... Oh, um, what they wouldn't know. I don't know. Um, what they wouldn't know about me. Um, uh, you know, I, the stuff they don't know about me, I think there's a reason why they don't, <laughs> they don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, just keep it not known. Um, yeah. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. What's something? Uh, hmm. Well, the stuff before is I love street hockey. Mm -hmm. Street hockey is really fun. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, and I love running. Uh -huh. I'm a big fan of running. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's just like such a nice, makes you feel so mm -hmm. good and refreshed. Mm -hmm. And um, I like to read uh, billboard books and charts. I'm really into mm -hmm. that. Um, like what kind of stuff? What do you mean? Like stuff that they don't know about. Hmm. I just meant like hobbies or a quirk or something like that. Street hockey. You street I hockey? love street hockey. I used to rollerblade all the time, but you know, it's That's so cool. much fun. That's cool. Um, let me think. Um, I had a question in my head. Oh yeah, what's something you would like to say to your fans that they'd love to know? Oh, my fans. I just want to tell them thanks so much. Because, you know, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here mm -hmm. if they weren't supporting me and had my back. Absolutely. And, you know, even when times got rough, I just, there'd just be times it's like, oh, this is so, it's getting really overwhelming. And I just read letters that people are saying, and they're, them just saying thank you. Mm -hmm. And it's like how thankful they are for me to doing what I do. And I'm just like, you know, that's just awesome. I'm just yeah. like, I'm ready. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck tonight. Oh, thank you very much. I can't wait to watch the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I better listen to that.